one of our show guests um, had, has asked, he recently did a bridal show, and he had asked us like how to stay in a client's mind for when they need you. After the event, like right. where well, they saw you. Like for example, like at this big bridal show, it's like there's 5,000 either brides or maybe a thousand of them are thinking of getting engaged or they think they're gonna get engaged. And it could be like a year, year and a half, but how do you make an impression so that they'll remember that experience with you and your business. So this, this goes across all lines of anybody that's doing this. And what's worked for me in the past is, especially with cake, something tangible that we have, the best way we saw to do it was create an experience for that person. Right. You literally get a minute. If you're lucky, when there's seconds. a thousand people, you get a minute to make an impression on somebody. All right? So what we did, they can see it, they can taste it, they can pretty much touch it. We created that in our booth on that 10 by 10 piece of concrete. So you have to leave, have it, and then give them some, they're getting this bag with all this, what they call swag. Shit. It's shit, basically, a lot of paper. Well, put we put cookies in there, for example. We didn't sell cookies, but there was cookies in there that had our logo, an edible image on it, mm -hmm. and our contact information, because that makes them, when they get home and go through all that crap, something tangible that they can literally eat. So if you're a food vendor, if you can figure out a way creatively mm -hmm. to not only brand yourself in that moment, but, but leave a lasting impression where they can go back to you in all the crap and you've got to stand out. We did chocolates one year. We've made little sachets with um, these little chocolates were out of our logo and they literally had to go back in and get that food. So I think that's a good way to do it. If you're not a food vendor and you're a planner, it's really impossible. It's tough. I don't do bridal shows. It's just you can't show somebody in a 10 by 10 or 20 by 20 what you do as a planner and designer. You can't touch it and feel it. People try that all the time. And we've seen many times. Waste if, of money. If you are a planner, it is an absolute waste of money. But you if you do it. Here's an idea. Okay, this you is good. You can do um, like a fun step and repeat or do like a little Instagram booth because now with social media, everything is there forever. And the number one thing, like if a girl's getting engaged or married in a year, Facebook pops up and it's like, your one year anniversary, do you want to repost this picture? I'm like, no, I don't want to repost that my da dad died a year ago today. Right. However... But that is a way that if you do something cool with social media and probably your picture is going to end up in their pictures Which then in their albums. So they're like, oh, I'll go back to that. So you got to have like not just a normal photo booth, but something that's fun with your logo or with something in the background. Branded. You have that to be it, branded. You've got to brand yourself. And one last thing I know. Because we're, we're, we're out of time. We're getting the wrap up. But this is really super important too. You as the as the owner of that company, as the person who, I don't, if you're a food vendor, I'm speaking for food vendors for sure, but yeah. this goes along with other things. You do not need to be schlepping food. You need to be out front, touching, speaking, making eye contact with your people. They can, somebody else can hand them your product. That doesn't need to you talk. you are the person they're that the they're face. going to connect with and going to meet with. So you need to be touching your, your customer or your it's a great potential point. customer. Yeah, don't be in there like sweating, you know, dress, you know, you can dress in your chef coat, whatever. I ain't serving cake right then. I am out there meeting my potential client and connecting He's networking. With them. I am networking. I'm good at it too. Work it. 96% close rate. <laughs> okay, we got to go.